This right here, this is the mark of a serious journaler. And right now, people watching are either clicking off as quickly as possible because, ah, what the hell am I getting myself into? Or if you're a journaler like me, perhaps this site makes you very excited. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca, and if you've made it to this point and you weren't scared off by the little beginning clip, you're probably wondering why the fuck I have so many journals out. Well, so if you're new here, I do witchy journaling. That is the majority of what my videos are about, and this one will be no exception. And I'm here most specifically to talk about the moon and journaling with the moon. So this is kind of like a this is kind of like a journal journey, which might have been what I named the the video. You and future me will know that, but I don't. And what's happening is because I have a new notebook for the month of July, you can check out the video of the initial setup of that up above in the cards. Because I have that, I have the luxury to really sit and, and think about what I want to put in this, or it feels more luxurious this time. So I've started thinking early because I can take my time setting it up and parsing it out and not rushing as much. And I want to do something more with the moon. So I want to talk to you about that. Before we get into that, a couple quick things. One, you might notice. I have a new down view camera thing. It, I bought a reticulating arm off Amazon. I love it. I'm super excited. Let me know how it works, how you, what you guys think. I know there is a bit of like shadows like, hello. Lighting will be one of the next things I work on. Um, but so for now, this is what you get. And I hope that that's okay. Two, this is going to be a long video. So tuck in, get cozy grab a beverage. I have water because I'm super fancy like that. And But you can grab whatever you like and we're going to dive in. I've gone through my massive journaling collection. I have like, so my pile here is seven and I've got 11 more. So I've got almost 20 journals that I skimmed through and I picked out things because I really want to look at this. For those who don't know, I have a cancer, I am a cancer rising sign, which means my whole astrological chart, my whole being is ruled by the moon. And for myself, that feels very true. And I think part of that is because I also happen to be born under a full moon, which creates oppositions. And there, there's, there's a ton of stuff in my chart and in my life that centers around the moon. So when I got a reading with Samantha Menzo, she suggested that I look very closely at the moon and how it affects me and my cycles and my health. And, and so I've been doing this on and off. There's always been some sort of moon connections into my journaling, as you'll see. This, this first journal started last year, just before I did that reading with Samantha Menzo. And before that... I did almost always have, like with my Calendex, I would almost always note the, the moons on them, the major phases, like the new moon, full moon, right? So I've got tags. I'm going to kind of ramble because I'm hoping, A, that you guys might get some cool ideas, and B, that at the end of this video, maybe I will have ideas for what I want to do in July because I definitely want to do more. So the first one is just a very simple, let, should we zoom you in? Yes, there, that's better. The first one is just a very simple one where I would note what was going on in my calendar. I would know what was going on. So when the moon entered a new sign, where the moon was, um, full moons, new moons, basic tracking. And here is where I had really started to do more with the moon and this. I have some old videos of this stuff, so I'll link my, I will link both my 
Book of Shadows playlists. And because you're going to see quite a few of them, most of this is Book of Shadows stuff you'll see. And my bullet journal playlist, and you can just kind of parse through and try and find them if you want. This was uh, March 2020, so that gives you a timeline here we're starting with. What I was doing at this point was every day I was writing something to manifest and something I was releasing. And what I was trying to do was once I had done um, actually I don't think I was doing that at that point so never mind we'll get to that. So there's that there's that one. Um, this is like it it worked well I've done this for a while my system has grown and changed a ton it was super weird actually looking through these books because like this was when I created these spreads COVID hadn't started it it's really super weird and I can actually show you just just for the sake of it this is it this is the day, Friday, March 13th. That was the day I got sent home because I was recovering from a really nasty cold, which in hindsight very well could have been COVID and I wouldn't have known. I was recovering and I got sent home because I still had a cough and everyone was panicking about COVID and I got my first Witch's Moon subscription box and everything shut down. So. It's just really weird. Really, really weird. Anyways. So I did this manifesting and releasing for a while with different variations. At this point, partway through, I got really tired. What The problem I was having with this is I was often writing that I was manifesting the same things. Like productivity, productivity, um, productivity. And then I was releasing a bunch of things that were often the same. It it didn't it just didn't feel like it was working, right? It didn't feel like it was doing what I wanted it to do. The first month I loved it, but it it, it very quickly lost its novelty. So then I stopped writing what I was releasing and I would write those on little sheets of paper that I was supposed to burn on the full moon, which didn't actually happen. Here's where it really started, because it was at this point that I had gotten my um, my reading. So I got my birth chart reading on March 28th with Samantha Menzo, and I had already set this up, so I edited it. I had already set this up to, I, I was starting to get more into astrology at this point. So I had this for transits, and then because I, the next spread I did, kind of took care of this, I ended up using it for something else, but so here's, I've tried to track transits. Here's where it's really started, and it's this kind of thing that I'm wondering, how do I want to do this more intentional kind of thing, and actually do something with it? So this was my Moon and Me spread I did for several months, and... I would have the moon phase, the moon phase, where it is, what my cycle day was. I would write any notes, feelings, thoughts, symptoms, write if I had sugar, red meat, and if there was other transits. And all of these were related to things Samantha Menzo mentioned to me based on my astrological reading. And I liked it. I have this weird thing where I'm not like, I'm forever balancing just gathering the information and looking at it and actually putting the information to use. So I'm trying to find something now, something close to this sort of, or at least holding the same intention that I had when I created this of working with the moon much more closely and following the moon much more closely because I'm, I'm so connected and so tied to it um, that I... It's this kind of thing that I want to try and see it, what I want to do with that lines up with where I am in life now. Because to say the past uh, year was I'm that I'm a completely different person from then is 
not even the littlest bit of an exaggeration. Anywho, at this point, I was just writing what I manifest, what I wanted to manifest every day. But again, like, so there's three days in a row here where it was happy, productive day. That was what I was manifesting. And so it was kind of like I was, I was putting the thought into it, but I wasn't putting any action behind it. Here's that next month's moon and me spread, which I did do. And again, that same moon manifest that went on for a few months. I believe I was still using it here. Yep. So this would have been my last months in this journal in July. I was still using it. There they are. So that's the first journal. As I go, if there's anything you want to see more of or hear me talk more specifically about, let me know in the comments down below. This brings us to my first book of shadows. And this was started all the way December 24th, 2018. This was started when I really started picking up my spirituality. And this was started at the point where I was keeping a book of shadow, like my book of shadows had to be separate. I've gone on this huge transformative journey, like with my journaling. And I, I went through some very specific things to try and to get to the point where I am now. And perhaps I'll talk about that. Anyways, at the time, what I was doing was every month on the new moon, I would write my new moon intentions. And I would always start them. I plant the seed of and that is what I would do. And I would do it on the new moon. It was part of my ritual. Here's another version of that where I had my new moon here for July. And this was, oh wait, this wasn't running in tandem yet. This is July 2019. I had my new moon here for July. And then I wrote the things I was manifesting. This was before I put this in my bullet journal. Because everything was in completely segregated. So that, I mean, those were ideas. They're not quite what I'm looking for now. And then here I have my full moon. This is when I tried to make a spread for a full moon. And I set it up and I did the bare minimum and then I just didn't do anything. And that was all in this first bullet journal, our book of shadows, which ended February 2nd, 2020. In case you're curious, I have videos on this journal as well. Check those out. Those playlists, like I said, are up above. <clears throat> and I believe I have complete flip throughs of that book of the first book of shadows and this one. Making sure I'm in frame. Yes. Yes. So here's another thing where I was trying to bring more intentionality and more action. So I had February new moon where what I was trying to do at this point was I was writing the things daily from one new moon to the next that I wanted to manifest and then on the new moon I would I wrote out the seeds that I wanted to manifest and I like tied them together I I made sure they were they made sense like I'm I, I built these based off those. At this point, I did start my full moon and new moon tarot readings. Again, I'm really sorry about the shadows. I don't really know what else to do about it. Hold on. Okay, the shadow's gone, so we're going to try this. I'm not going to refilm that first part, so just let me know in the comments down below if this lighting is better until I get like actual lighting equipment. I've turned off my living room lights and I'm just using the flash. Anyways, so the last bit in this one was just to show that I was, I started doing tarot readings with the moons, which I still do. I do one every new moon and full moon. Everything else in this journal is repeats of stuff we've already seen. Bye. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Here was where, at this point, I had come out of using a Filofax, or I was still using it, and I was trying to get back into something with the moon. And at this one, I had set up the moon phases, a space to write my cycle, where the moon was in the sky, other transits, and what I wanted to manifest. And this was a good idea. I don't think I really did much with this one. I, I used it for a few months. Oh yeah, see, here it is. So this was in the month of September. This would have been la hmm. What the hell was this? This would have been 2020. Yep, July 2020 to November 2020. So this was in September. I was using that same spread I just showed you. And I liked it. I I used it. I'm not quite sure why I stopped. Oh right, I think it was with a lot of these spreads and just my spreads in general. Um if I'm not feeling fully into the spreads, I I either A stop filling them out or I just like phone it in and I'm just like faking it and not really actively paying attention. It becomes a passive thing and that's not what I want. These were fun. This is when I was doing a day a page and I really did love this. It became, again, it, it, this is one of the things that became, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it became too much. I just kind of stopped doing them and at this point though I was writing every day I was writing a little bit about the moon because so what happened was at this point my bullet journal and my book of shadows were separate and you'll see soon that I merged the two and then I didn't quite like how it was working I was burning through the book like super quickly so I separated them and now I'm on a new kind of merging them together so it's all incredibly confusing like oh it's very confusing and it it's something I'm just I'm figuring out and I'm loving where I'm heading with it it's just a whole thing so for a long time for several months I think I was every day writing on the moon and what I thought I was trying to be more pat or more active in like what it seemed like a good energy for this is in the month of November. I, so again, as you can see, like at this point, I was trying to figure more out with the moon it, and I'm ready to do that again now, hence this video. So this one, this was my monthly where I had the moon and I was writing how I felt because I go back and forth on thinking that like part of me is like, well, I, I need to find the patterns and follow the patterns to determine what it is that I want to do. And then the other part's like, it feel, but what do I do? I don't, I'm not very good at going back and making something of the patterns I recognize. So I feel very back and forth on it. That's this one. We're actually making pretty good timing through this. We are going to be ignoring this on the side. This is just, well, I mean, I'll show you. This is, I wrote a spread called the Astrological Months and I put this here for myself so I remember to go back and look at this. Okay, so here is where we see some of the yearly stuff I do with the moon. I have, this is where all the new and full moons, I wrote them. And then also I can show you yeah, so I, I often have something showing me where the new and full moons are, like, are, what time of, when, when they are, when, 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 Blech. For this monthly tracker, I was, again, I, I do try to identify patterns. I'm just, I'm not looking to just identify patterns anymore. 
I'm looking to be more active in my practice now. I'm very good at the passive reflecting thing, but I want to be more active. For this one, I had the moon phase, where it was, my cycle day, and then just some monthly tracking things. And I, as you can see, I did not fucking do it. So obviously that one didn't work. This one I wanted to just show for fun. So this was a thing where I went through and I wrote all about the, um, I wrote a page for each major arcana card. I, admittedly, at this time, I was really trying to fill this journal. I, so this is my page for the moon card. And I just wanted to note it. And <laughs> I'll put that tab back because I wanted to look at it potentially for inspiration for myself because I just, I don't know what it is I, I, I'm going to do or what exactly I want to do. I'm, that's part of why I'm doing this video so I can just, you know, ramble and think maybe, but I want to, I want to work with the moon more and I'm not. And so I'm trying to kind of spark some ideas. And I want to have something for July connected to working with the moon specifically to at least try out, even if it doesn't work. I thought it'd be fun to show you. I've done a couple different pages where I just like blurbed on a page about my moon sign. So that's another thing for me to reference. Oh, and that's all I've got in this one. I'm pretty impressed. We're making good time. Look at us go. Look at this. It looks like a duck. We're almost through the journal flippy part. So here's where you'll get to see, this is, this is my journal I started with in 2021. My cat scared me. So this is when I started my blood moon tracking, which I do keep. And I also, I also use, although I've started to fall off the wagon of it. I've also been using this Astro Cal Moon Diary for all of the year so far. So doing both has started to become monotonous and since getting uh, my Honeycomb Personal Almanac, I my Astro Cal I'm viewing it more as like a scrapbooking tool. So I don't know why I just did that with the notebook. So anyway, this is what my blood moon tracker looked like when I first really started it. I do still have this, which you'll see. Here's where I wrote down my moon returns. So this is something I am doing. This was like the start of kind of revamping really and really trying to revamp. So my moon returns is when the moon returns to where it was in, in the exact position when I was born. So I wrote down all of mine for the year. My next one coming up is in 10 days, the 19th. So I have been working with that and looking at how those days tend to pan out. I like this. This is definitely a thing that's going to keep happening and they are noted in my new journal, I believe. Here is another attempt. So this was, this was my journal where it was all in one. This was one of my latest attempts at doing something with the moon in me. So I had where the moon was, the phase, what house it, it was activating for my chart other things going on astrologically speaking, other transits, my cycle day and notes. I just didn't find I was able to translate these types of things into any specific action and whatnot. At this point here, I was doing the daily moon tracking at the top of my page. So I just wanted to show you that slightly different way it looks. And all of this brings us to where I am now. And we're going to have to zoom out. 
Okay, so you might recognize this. Here we go. So, boom. This is my yearly blood moon tracker, which I am still using and I have set up in my new journal. This is that new journal. So what I have set up in it for just to refresh our brains as we're getting to the part where I kind of yammer at myself. I do have my blood moon tracker. I've made it smaller again, which is fine by me. And I don't have anything about my moon returns in this one, which I will note them in some way. Okay, sorry. So I don't actually have anything in my new journal about my moon returns. I had something in here, I thought, or I've just been referencing. Oh, that's right. I don't have anything because now they're in my personal almanac. This is the problem with when you try too many things. It gets confusing. Anyways, in the month of, this is now annoying. There we go. In the month of March, this is what I was doing. I had my, the, my calendar had it. So like a big version of what I showed you from the gold notebook, the moon sign and when it switched, what its phase was, which house of mine it was activating and what planets it was activating based on like what was in the house. I like this. I'm going to put a little star here. I like this. This is nice. I like the, I definitely want to see what's being activated. Energy, as you can see, I did fuck all there. Other transits, my transits, and notes. So some good stuff there. At this point, since I was already showing you everything, I thought I'd show you my new moons. So this was the new moon in Pisces of this year, March 13th, the one year anniversary of the state of emergency. Um, I liked this in theory, but then it was very busy and I never really referenced it. Here's one of my full moon and Libra spread. So this one just plain. This one you will have seen before. I really love this. This is my new moon and airy spread. I, I loved it, except uh, I wasn't like I looked at it because it looked pretty, but again, I didn't do anything with it. So a thought I'm having, let's use one of these so I'm not wasteful. Um, all in one monthly moons. So if you've seen my recent videos, you will have heard me talking about um, how I'm really loving this, um, how I'm really loving in this notebook that everything can be encased. So like this, all of my new moon stuff is encased. So I'm thinking some sort of encased Dutch Dory type fashion of for the moons each month. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just not quite sure what I will want to put in it. Here's a full moon in Scorpio spread that I did. So you can see I'm doing that. So this, so how all of this, how this whole section is all of my May stuff. And I'm think, and I love how it's all housed together. So I'm thinking of something like this, where it's all housed except for the moons. And now, and as you can see, see here, the moon's a big thing for me. This is one of my favorites. Like it's so fucking pretty. I'm super proud of my butterflies. Um, and the reason I wouldn't put it, the reason I would, I'm considering putting it separately is because of the fact that it, if I do something where it's all in one clump of the moon stuff, I would want to include my new moon and my full moon tarot readings, which I could do as the outer pages could do the new moon the full moon based on whichever comes first and then have in the middle all the 
all the moon stuff. That's the kind of thought I'm having. So, uh, big moons as bookends. go okay I made a note for me here so this was just last month in May this was my medical where I write my medical stuff and as you can see I did have astrology on it it was too busy I did not like how busy it looked along the bottom because I was also writing my cycle and all of the and it just no nope too much I'm working on simplification and then oh I bookmarked this one because here's where I'm putting my moon returns now. So on my monthly little astrology page, I do write my moon return. So there's that. This is what really, 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 really super really started to springboard this because I, and, and tomorrow's the new moon. So this will be fun and interesting to see what happens. I... I start I I made this to be like the previous one. I made this to be like this one, but my Polaroid zip had run out. And I also to I was trying to work with a weaver every new moon, but I was working with weavers every new moon, but I wasn't working with my yearly weavers, and I didn't like that. So I I shifted that and I, like, I would pull these cards and I would look at it, but I wasn't really doing things. I don't want to do things just to do them. I want to do things that have a purpose, that I can feel they have a purpose. Even if it's a more passive thing, I need to be able to feel the purpose. And this setup, though I loved it, because I would put my intentions here, I would put actions I wanted to do here, here's the reading here was the pictures though I loved it and I loved the creativity with it 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 didn't feel like it was serving its purpose oh I was doing the moons up at the top here and then this is this month so what I have this month is oh I bookmarked this because I do have like I do I do um record if I do moon work and as you can see if we look back at May here if we look back at May this column is moon work and the only time I've got it is like this is the new moon this was a random day this is the full moon and I don't like and here's moon work here and so far it's empty and for someone ruled by the moon, this feels like a foible. Now, the rest of these tabs are from my uh, plotting out so I could get ready for and make sure I had enough pages. This is where I'm going to do my new moon and full moon spreads for June just on full out paper. Um, to see because that's what I have space for and that's fine but this is what I'm going through I'm trying to determine what I want to do and currently this is all I figured out I want I, I want I'm considering the idea of trying an all-in-one monthly moon stuff even though I would love to um, Even though I would love to run things from moon to moon more so, it that's very hard for me to figure out how to do that because all of my life is run by the Gregorian calendar. Um, so I don't know if I'm quite there yet, but so this is all I've got. So that's really it. I just wanted to walk you through that and chat a bit. I. I'm thinking of doing this a series as like the moon in me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you made it this far, 
what you thought. If there's any spreads you really want to see more about or hear more about, any ideas, suggestions, YouTubers I might look at who might have some ideas, any of that, let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz while you are there. And also, you will find in the description box the link to my new Etsy shop, which I opened officially mid-month in May. And I make witchy items like, like witches' ladders and things with spell bottles and stuff. So check that out. My store is called The Crafted Witchery. You can give that a gander. And that's all I've got for you for today. So please let me know what you thought and I will see you again very soon. I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're keeping safe and, and cool because it's hot as balls here in Canada, at least in my part of Canada. And we will, I will see you again soon. Have a great day. Lots of love. Bye.